Hello Interwebs, welcome to Let's Fix Computers. Um, today I'm starting a series on Windows 10 wrangling. So um, uh, obviously Windows 10 has been around for quite a while now, however with Windows 7 having just died out, I am certainly seeing a completely renewed wave of people coming in who need Windows 10 upgrades and servicing and such like. So in this little series I'm going to show you um, how to handle that. So this is going to be broken up into lots of small videos that cover specific things so you can pick and choose which videos are relevant to you. In this first video we're going to talk about the absolute basics that everyone really needs in their arsenal and that is a Windows 10 flash drive. So this is a standard USB pen drive with the Windows 10 installation files on it and using one of these you can uh, you can upgrade an existing computer to Windows 10, you can upgrade an existing version of Windows 10 to the latest version of Windows 10, you can also do basic repairs on a computer, or you can install Windows 10 on a completely blank drive. So whatever you want to do, you're probably going to want one of these. So let's get started. So first of all, what we need to do is get the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. This is an official tool from Microsoft that will allow you to download and create a Windows 10 flash drive. So let's get this on the go and we can talk further about it. So I'm going to open up a browser of my choice, in this case Google Chrome, doesn't matter what you use. And I'm just going to Google search for um, media creation tool. And the top hit is from Microsoft.com make sure you're going to microsoft.com. Don't get this from anywhere else. Uh, if you download it from anywhere that's not microsoft.com, you're probably getting a virus. So make sure you're getting it from microsoft.com. So there's two things that we can get here. There is the Windows Upgrade Assistant, which is supposed to walk you through the process. However, personally, I think the Media Creation Tool is a much better option. So we download the Media Creation Tool here. And as you can see, it's downloaded Media Creation Tool. So this has gone down into my Downloads folder. I'm just going to click on it directly here to open it. And I'll agree to the UAC prompt. And that's going to open up this setup screen here. So I'll just close my browser window just to tidy up. So at this point, most people are going to say, do I need a Windows 10 license for this? And the answer to that is no. To actually download and install Windows 10, you do not need a license. You don't need a product key. You don't need anything. Now, to activate Windows 10, you will need some kind of license. However, I'll discuss Windows 10 licensing in a separate video where I'll discuss how you can activate Windows 10 and what conditions you need to activate it, what conditions you don't need to activate it in, and how you may be entitled to it for free. So we'll cover that in a separate video. For now, we're just going to make the flash drive. So I'll agree to the license terms. Okay, right, now we're presented with two options. We can upgrade this PC now, or we can create install media. Now, uh, even if you intend on upgrading the computer that you're doing this on, I would recommend selecting the second option. Um, you can theoretically go straight ahead and update your computer right here, right now. But I strongly recommend making your flash drive and then doing all of your upgrade work from one of these instead of using this tool. Because that way, if the installation fails or you need to do a second attempt or something like that, you've already got Windows downloaded and you don't have to go through all the download process a second time. So create an installation media and now's the point where we plug in our flash drive. So I'll just plug this into the side of my laptop here and I'll hit create installation media next. Now, for the time being, it will automatically detect what version it thinks you should use with the recommended options. This default set option will create a drive that can install all versions of Windows 10. So Home, Pro, uh, Ultima, um, you know, Special uh, Business Editions, all the rest of it. I recommend making an all versions drive because that will cover you for any version of Windows that you want to install. Um, and this comes at no penalty for space or anything like that. So I'll just hit next and take these recommended options. So at this point now we can choose to put it on a flash drive or an ISO file. Um, I recommend a flash drive. You can make a DVD if you really want, but this is the new age. Just use a flash drive, it's easier. So now it's going to ask us where we want to save it to. So as you can see, I've got a Kingston flash drive connected at drive letter D. 
So I'll select that and hit next. If you have data on this flash drive already, that data is going to get deleted. So make sure that you don't have anything on that flash drive that you need. I strongly recommend just buying a flash drive specifically for doing this with, just so you have a dedicated drive. And that'll stop you from having to remake it all the time as well. Right, now we're on a download screen. So this is going to download Windows 10 and then save it to the flash drive. So I'm going to walk away and wait for this to finish now. I'll see you guys after the cut. Okay, and now we're, we're back, we're finished, and it says our USB flash drive is ready. So I'm going to hit finish, and it's going to do some little things and clean up and before it closes and stuff like that. And now I'm going to safely eject my flash drive to make sure that there's no active copies to it. So I'll click the safely eject, click on eject my flash drive, and I'll wait for the prompt. And that's it, we're now done. So we now have a Windows 10 flash drive that we can use for all of our Windows 10 needs, I guess. That's it for this video. So I will see you in the next video, which will be about other Windows 10 stuff, depending on which one you click on. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.